This video is not sponsored and has no adverts. Hello and thanks for joining me for some more landscape photography. In this video I'm just out for another dog walk as I was in my last video quite some months ago. But today I've come down to the forest at Newborough. Although the forest isn't my target, I have stopped and taken a couple of pictures already though. The thing is it's been raining for about a week, so it's really, really misty um, and perfectly still, really atmospheric, although not actually raining this morning, which is fabulous. But anyway, my intention is to walk down to the island. Now I've got uh, a little bag with uh, two or three prime lenses. I've got my OM-1 and I've got a 15mm f1.7 attached to that at the moment. Uh, I've also, which I don't normally do on a dog walk, is I've brought a tripod, ultra lightweight. I'll tell you a bit more about that in a while because um, it's actually revolutionized my photography. Anyway, time to get on down to the island. Um, I can hear the surf. I love that sound through the trees as you approach. Uh, here's a few images which I've been taking in dog walks, usually at first light over the last few months to keep you entertained while I head on down to the beach. Well now I'm down on the promontory which overlooks the section of beach where the island meets the coast. Uh, it's low water on a neap tide which means I can easily get on and off the island but not really planning to walk down to the towers or anything like that. Um, and because on this side which is the leeward side of today's breeze such as it is it's pretty calm so I'm going to head over onto Penrose Beach uh, where there's a little bit more surf meat in the rocks because that's the sort of thing I've got in mind for this morning. There's so much of interest here for the landscape photographer. In fact, it's one of the places where I bring my workshop clients when we're heading down to the island. We stop off here and do a bit of work in amongst these trees and rocks. Nice work, Poochie. Come on. I love it here at this time of year, at this time of day. The whole place to myself, it's absolutely fabulous. There'll still be a few dog walkers about, but they do tend to hang around closer to the car park. We've come slightly further afield. I'm sure there'll be plenty of trippers down here later on, but it's only about half an hour after sunrise at eight o'clock in the morning. So, unfortunately, the rocks that I had in mind for some wave action are well above the tide line at the moment. So we're gonna to have to rethink. There's some nice side light on the tower. So I might head up just onto the end of the island 
Let's see what we can do up there. Maybe go for some wider shots than I originally intended. So I'm at a little bit of a loss now because um, you can't always predict exactly where the tide is going to be. I know every rock formation and I know what the tide times are and I know what sort of tide it is. If I wasn't out walking the dog, I'd just wait it out, set myself up and give it a couple of hours because I would be right down by the surf line in amongst the rocks with a wide angle lens on. Um, it's the whole point of bringing the tripod with me. So this might be a bust. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, look at the place. It's fabulous. There's no finer place on earth to take your dog for a walk every weekend. Um, and I don't mind bringing the tripod with me. This little tripod, um, it's uh, not a sort of well-known brand, you know, it's not a Benro or a Gitzo or anything like that. In fact, you know what, I can't for the life of me remember what it is. Let's have a look. I'll lug it up here. Photo Pro Aircross 3 Carbon. That's what it looks like. It weighs about 850 grams, well under a kilo. That includes a ball head. The ball head's really good, lock solid, can handle my OM1 and a 12 to 100 F4 Pro quite easily. Uh, but because it doesn't have a bulky ball head with it, it's all sort of incorporated. It's really easy to carry around on the off chance. If I don't get it out today, kind of doesn't matter. It's coming on to rain now as well. <laughs> Typical. But... Um, I must admit, I do, I get fed up of people banging on about how you don't need tripods anymore because of in-body stabilisation. Part of the reason why I got this particular tripod is for exactly this sort of thing, where I might need it, I might not, but it's nice to have it with me and it'd be no effort to carry it with a few dog treats and a lead. That's about it. Um, and the thing is, in the modern age, some photographers are right you you don't need a tripod from a technical standpoint but you most certainly do need a tripod from an artistic standpoint i can take two three second shots all day long with my olympus gear but what i can't do very easily is frame up a shot and wait for that perfect wave or wait for that perfect light um, and i can't finesse my composition to the extent that I can when it's on a tripod. So some of the shots I showed you earlier, if I'd had a tripod with me when I was taking those shots, I most certainly would have had time to really think about exactly where every little rock is in my image um, and move my camera just a few millimeters here and there, which can make all the difference. And a number of times when I've come home with some images, I found myself thinking, oh, that's just not quite right. Hang on, I've got a big step down here. Uh, might end up flat on my face, live on air. Come on, Poots, this way, we're going on the beach. I've just discovered a, a gully that actually brought a group, a workshop group here uh, last year, October time maybe, something like that. And the tide was kind of where it is today and there's two cracks in the rocks where the waves pile through uh, from the other side. It's not brilliant, but there might be something we can make of it. Anyway, as I was saying, tripods. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, it certainly helps to really think about your composition. And at the end of the day, the composition is the artistic interpretation. It's not really about technicalities, is it? So. I would say that you don't need a tripod if you're purely a technician, if you don't really care much about your compositions, and if you're not going to set up a shot and wait for light and movement in your shot. Do you know, I hadn't intended to talk about tripods today. 
Um, but yeah, let, let me just show you this. Well, I've just walked down to this little beach. You see there's these gullies and the waves break through them every now and then. The tide's still dropping off, so it may be that we've missed the best of it. So another thing that I really like about this tripod is that you've just got this single twist action uh, to extend the legs and they lock nice and firmly. I saw reviews online of this tripod, these idiots banging on about how you can't adjust the height because you've got to reach the bottom. Well, you can, look, you can just do it up here. I don't know why they hand them out to some people to say, review this tripod when they're clearly got no clue what they're doing. I think there might be a shot here. It's just gonna be a case of setting the camera up and timing it. I'm gonna stick with this 15 mil, which could do with a wipe lens. It's the Lumix Leica lens. And uh, I really like it, it's a fabulous lens. I replaced the 20 mil Olympus. When I went to Norway, I took the Lumix 9, the Olympus 20 and the 35 to 100 Lumix. So what I've done is I found at times the 20 was either just a little bit too long or a little bit too short. So I replaced it with a 15 and a 25. And the 15 has rapidly become my favorite little prime lens. Well, Winnie's running around in the distance entertaining herself, but I know she's ready for breakfast. I'm ready for another cup of coffee. I've got what I think I can get for this particular shot, so hopefully that'll work out okay. This was always intended just to be a, a quick short to say hello again. It's been a really long time. Um, so I'm gonna leave it there for this one. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, why not subscribe and join me next time. Cheers.